Hey everyone, it's Flackfire. I had hoped that we were at the bottom of the Battlefield 5 pit, but it appears there's still a ways to go. The game continues its freefall this week with developers announcing private games. Battlefield 5's rendition of the rental server program has been delayed into Chapter 5. It was also revealed that improvements to the game's Battle Royale game mode, Firestorm, are also on hold. Meanwhile, Operation Underground, Battlefield 5's reimagining of the classic Operation Metro map, won't arrive until October. DICE broke the news to fans ahead of Battlefield 5's new update. Rumors private games would be delayed have been swirling for weeks, backed by news that developer Ali Hassoun, who was working on the system, had left DICE. Other departures from the company likely also played a role, but it's yet another misstep in a series of stumbles since launch that have left the company way off of the mark. It's also taken a toll on player base morale, which remains deplorable in recent months. Much of the outcry from the community can be pinned on poor communication from DICE. The developers have tried to avoid committing to hard dates for patches and updates, leading to confusion and occasionally conflicting information. When the dates have actually been set, DICE has repeatedly missed their window. The graphic here from Redditor Nito and the Funky Bunch drives home these failures, showcasing missed deadlines and highlighting customization items nowhere to be found in Tides of War Chapter 4. It is honestly a frustrating time to be a Battlefield fan. I still maintain the Pacific expansion makes or breaks Battlefield 5's legacy and whether or not DICE can salvage the game. For the moment, I don't see any major red flags, but that can obviously change the closer we get to the expected launch. Now, despite the negative news out of DICE regarding delays, the announcement of Update 4.6 did bring some positive information as silver lining. The most notable is the addition of the long-awaited Al Sundan map to the Conquest game mode. Developers had struggled for months with an artifacting issue that proved difficult to resolve. DICE also announced three new weapons are scheduled to drop throughout October. These include the Trench Carbine, Madsen MG, and the Flieger Faust anti-aircraft rocket launcher. Similarly, many weapons are getting rebalanced in the update. The most noticeable change is a buff to pistols. The stopping power of the M1911, Ruby, and P08 are all getting dialed up, while the trusty Mark VI revolver is getting a slight nerf. For a complete readout of balancing changes, check the patch notes with the link in the video description. Developers are also making changes to combat prevalent issues with prone players, reducing the effective horizontal angle of fire to 40 degrees before their aiming is slowed. This should limit the effectiveness of players using bipods and medium machine guns. Other significant improvements include a fix for the latency issue since the last patch, and more responsive revives across Battlefield 5's multiplayer and Firestorm game modes. Developers say Update 4.6 will also fix loot issues in Firestorm that have plagued the game since the last patch. Of course, this video here isn't meant to be a comprehensive look at the 4.6 update, so make sure you check out all of the patch notes using the link below. Thanks for hanging out with me here on this video. I'm a little bit under the weather, so I apologize for not sounding too excited. Uh, if you enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe. If you haven't already, tap the bell to get notifications. Please do that. Helps me out a ton. Make sure you're following on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram as I like to send out messages regarding new updates to Battlefield 5 and any of the other games that I happen to be playing at the moment. And as always, thanks for watching.